so Matt, um, <laughs> let, let me ask you, what is your initial impressions of this book? Well, like the other books in the uh, Star Trek Adventure series, this is a beautiful book, uh, well put together. Uh, I love the art and the pictures. Um, this book is just packed with information, just like their other Quadrant books. Uh, really, really detailed stuff. Um, it starts off with uh, an intricate look, a deep look at Dominion politics, how, do, how the Dominion works. It talks about the founders. There you get the belief system of the founders and the goals of the founders, what they want, which is really important because unlike the, the leaders of your average <laughs> evil empire, the, the founders really have a unique perspective. They're, mm -hmm. they're still, it's still an evil empire, but they're, they're in it for a different reason. Um, yeah, they, it's about, about trying to control so that they won't be afraid anymore, which is pretty interesting. You know, it's like yeah, a survival. Exactly. They have to control yeah. because it's a survival. That's right. Um, they, they, they have a good history of the founders and how the changelings uh, were hunted across the uh, galaxy and how they became the founders um, and how that history informs their beliefs and their actions now, which make them really interesting. You also get um, a section about the Gamma Quadrant itself, of course, typical worlds and typical species, um, the culture of the species, the, the technology of the species, how they fit within the Dominion. The, the Dominion is very hierarchical. You know, there's the favored species and the, the less favored species. Now, we're just jumping straight in here and assuming that you're a Star Trek fan and you know what all these terms mean, you know, the Dominion and the Founders and all that. But if you weren't, yeah. this book would explain it to you. <laughs> yeah, there, there's, uh, there's, if, you, if you haven't watched Space Nine, you're going to have a lot of spoilers. Um, I, they're assuming that you watch uh, not just most of Star Trek, but uh, at least, especially Deep Space Nine, especially the Dominion War and what led, and what led to it. Completely spoils Deep Space Nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's it's a it's a great book. It says it's it's, it's about one hundred twenty four pages, five chapters. Um, it's funny if you look at our previous video about the um, the Alpha Quadrant, uh, yep. where we said that talks about the Space Nine, the the space station, and, and everything around that region. And we were saying, hey, you know, the one thing that this this miss is more about the Dominion, but we understood that because that that wasn't really their fault because that's really more of a gamma quadrant thing. Um, but with, with this book, it makes up for that because <laughs> it's, it's really mostly about the dominion. Uh, again, exactly. it's, it's five chapters, five chapters. Uh, it goes really, I believe the second chapter goes, it's all about the dominion. It goes really, it's a, the longest chapter, I believe. And it goes really deep into their, their lore. Um, chapter three deals with a couple of uh, options of characters that you can, uh, of races, or they call it life paths, that you can play, including the changeling. Yep. Um, chapter yep. four uh, deals with the starships that they that you will encounter or possibly fly. And then chapter five deals with kind of like um, uh, venture seeds and, and exploring the rest of the quadrant. Um, but yeah, well, I, I, it's, again, it's, it's such a well-written book. I, again, I am in awe at how much uh, written work it goes into it and even the style design of it you know it, it again we talked before it looks like like a like a something you would see on a screen and on the enterprise um <laughs> it's it, they do such a good job with layout and and again the art inside as well is just fantastic yes no it, it it's really a good book and uh, aside from giving you all the information that you need to play, including information about the wormhole and the profits and the orbs. Um, it also gives you lots of good advice on how to use this information. It gives you advice on how to run a game set in and around the Dominion War. You know, how to play games leading up to the Dominion War, how to play games during the Dominion War, how to play games in the aftermath of the war, how to play different types of games. You can play, you know, action games where you're right in the thick of it. You can play political games where you're trying to, you know, get allies. You can play espionage games. Um, 
you know, and there's still room for all the exploration and science things. It's really, it, it really is kind of Deep Space Nine, the game as well, because while Deep Space Nine is a fantastic show and the Dominion War is a large part of it, it's not the only part of it. Even episodes that happen in the middle of the war, they still have time to go off and explore strange new worlds and new civilizations. And this book um, gives you advice on how to do that. Uh, and they open it up as much as they can. You know, it, uh, it is definitely centered mostly in the um, next generation era, but there's advice on um, how to run it in different timelines, you know, alternate timelines. They have tie-ins with the Borg, tie-ins with the Delta Quadrant, they even mentioned the mirror universe. Um, so, and, and there's all sorts of wonderful little details. Uh, you know, I, I agree with you. I am really impressed with how much the people at Mordifius love Star Trek. They are Trekkies. <laughs> there is a chat, there is a little tiny aside about the Dominion um, icon. You know, that, that kind of green thing there. It's really awful. It's really stupid. My wife says it looks like plumbing. <laughs> My wife says it looks like plumbing. It does look like plumbing. It's dumb. And so there's this great little apologist argument in there where they say, yes, we know it's dumb. The Dominion knows it's dumb. They've done it on purpose to laugh at people saluting their dumb icon. I don't know if that's true. I'm sure that they didn't think of that at the time when they made it, but it's a wonderful kind of retcon to say that it's, it's a giant screw you from the Dominion to make everybody salute this really, really stupid symbol. And it fits with the, with the founders. They're, they're just so arrogant and have so little regard for everybody else. They would, they would chuckle among themselves knowing that everybody lived in fear of this really stupid bit of plumbing. <laughs> so that's the sort of thing they have in the book and you know that sort of little attention to detail they also have all the same little um a little asides that they have you know they have um uh they have diary journals from quark right and and they have uh you know uh diary journals you know they have transmissions from people in the dominion and uh you know cardassians and all that sort of stuff best praise i can give this game is that one, it made me immediately want to go to go back and start watching some DS9 episodes. And the greatest praise you can give to any gaming book is that it made me want to play the game immediately. Mm. Immediately, I just started thinking of all these ideas, all these campaigns. I thought, wow, what if there was a ship, like a Federation ship, caught on the wrong side of the wormhole when the war started? And it's playing mm. kind of hide and seek in the Gamma Quadrant, trying to stay away from the Dominion and also trying to sabotage them. I thought, wow. I don't know. So um, another fantastic book by uh, Modifius. And uh, they're just knocking out of the park. If I had to give this a, a rating, which I do, I would give this an intelligence rating of 18. Definitely worth every piece of latinum. <laughs> All right, so um, let's talk about the rating for this book. In my opinion, 18. Definitely an intelligence of 18. Very logical. Yeah, yeah you, it, it feels like it, if you want the most experience from this book, definitely get the Alpha Quadrant so you can have the full D Space Nine experience. Exactly. But it, 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 could, it could definitely stand on its own. Another great book by a fantastic bunch of Trekkies. That's all there yeah. is to say. All right. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Um, please uh, let us know what you think and um, like, subscribe if you know what's best for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Transmission out. <laughs> Oops, Emmanuel. Oh no, he's frozen. Ah. Hello, Emmanuel. Come back to us. Well, uh, we seem to have lost Emmanuel. I think he's slipped into a, another phase of existence transporter accident. So I'll just say thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Really Dicey.